Hey gamers, Ranger Tony here, back with more of our Baldur's Gate playthrough. Um, <clears throat> actually, did I load the wrong save? No, I did not. Okay, cool. Oops. Hang on. Uh, no, not multiplayer. There we go. Right, so we are just about to head into Boulder's Gate. We have done all of the other missions down here, and I suppose it's probably a pretty fair thing to show you my characters, because it's been a little while. Now, we are playing as a human male archer, neutral, good, and we are currently level four. Uh, not very far away from getting to level 5, which would be nice. Um, and the stats, we this character has done 44% of the kills in the party. 38,000 points of experience, 159 kills. Very, very nice. The rest of our party consists of... Um, Kivan the Ranger, Minsk, of course, with Dinah hair. We have Imowen as our thief, our rogue, and we have um, Branwen as our healer. Now, what I wanted to say is uh, I'm going to show this off in another playthrough, uh, probably of Icewind Dale, but there is another class that would be really good um as a as slightly different from archer and that is actually i probably need to I probably need to double check and make sure i get the exact um where is it i, I want to get the exact name of the kit so that i don't get this wrong um It is the Wizard Slayer. Now, it is a subclass or a kit of the fighter build. Um, but what it does is it gives you... It limits what weapons and... Uh, well, it doesn't limit the weapons and armor that you can use, but you can't use magical items except for magical weapons or magical armor. So I can't put rings. I can't... Uh, I can use potions, but I can't wear any magical boots, gloves, rings, belts, uh, amulets, uh, anything like that. I can only wear armor and that is enchanted and, and wield weapons that are enchanted. But it is a really good, um, and even though it's called, it's, it's a really good class, even though it's called Wizard Slayer, it appears, and I have to, I haven't fully checked on this yet, but it appears that it affects anyone who casts spells. So it would be any arcane or divine spellcaster in the game. And basically every time you successfully hit an opponent, and it seems to work with range, it doesn't have to be melee hits, you add a 25% chance for spell failure to that character. And it's cumulative. So if you hit a character three times, um, or four times, they will never... Sorry, if you hit them four times, they will never be able to cast a spell. Um, of course, they should be dead by that point, but if they're not, they won't be able to cast any spell. Um, it, yeah, it all it works definitely works with all ranged weapons. Um... And yeah, it's just a really good, like there's a lot of mages in this game that you come across. And while as a fully ranged party, we're taking them down pretty quickly, having a wizard slayer in the party who just not only does damage to them from a distance, but also starts to make it so that any spells they do get off uh, have a chance to fail. 
really, really good. Anyway, enough of my yapping on. Let's get into Baldur's Gate. Now we're headed over here. Um, and we're gonna we're making a beeline for the mission stuff that we have to do. There's lots of stuff that we can do in Baldur's Gate, and there's lots of subquests. But I'm trying to stick to the main quest line as much as possible. If the main quest line wants me to do something and I go somewhere and someone throws in a, a subquest, I may do it, but we're here to we're here to power through. If also, if we then get to a point where I get to a combat that is just impossible for us to do, we may leave and go and do some subquests. Might even come back down here and sort of do a lot of the map down here that we haven't done uh, just to get some experience so that we can continue uh, and maybe have a chance to get through some of the quests. G'day Saint Zeldius, how you doing? <clears throat> Stay thy course a moment to indulge in <coughs> Elminster is back. Good day to the young one. What a marvelous happenstance that we should meet should again cross paths, especially in such a grand city as this. Uh, I see by thine eyes that thou have no time for my wry banter. Tis true our meeting was no accident, though I do honestly take pleasure in seeing me again. Good to see you again. What brings you here? Well, you should get some sleep, St. Salvius. I hear that's a really good uh, remedy for being tired. And I don't mind, but I mean, if you want to hang around, go right ahead. Um, of all citizens of the Sword Coast, eventually passed through Baldur's Gate, and I knew thou wouldst as well. Forgive my continued meddling, but I believe it is warranted, especially considering the pressures thou, no doubt, thou art no doubt confronting. My pestering of thee certainly pales in comparison to the influence thou hast felt from others, including my own, my own self. Ryan erased thee as best he could, but it's hard indeed to overcome what is bred in the bone. Much more so in this case, I would imagine. Okay, what do you want of me? I was about to ask the same question of thee. Thou hast come far, and though my answers are often less than obvious, I do hope they help a little. Ryan often chided me for my obliqueness though he was fond of a little verbal hide-and-seek as well. Uh, what can you tell me of Garion? He was long my friend and we talk often, though less after he settled down with thee. He was quite the traveller in his day, though he never regretted his new role as foster father. He felt a stable child who would better prepare thee for the problems that uh, would eventually come. He cared deeply for thee. I hope this was not lost on you. He was a good man. Uh, not suggesting I do otherwise, whatever the motives, independence is always a wise course to follow. My worry is that thy lineage is harder to escape than most. Thou hast bad blood in thee, though Gorion did what he could to teach thee well and true. Thou hast hungry blood within thee as well, and I would not let thee go without a, and it would not let thee go without a fight. For better or worse, what's bred in the bone will be dealt with in time. I trust thou hast the will to face what is within me. Um, <clears throat> I, know, I know little of what is to come. But I will do what is best. I am sure the future will be kind to thee for now. I will give you my best wishes and a few names that will serve you. Well, uh, Scar of the Flaming Fist is a good man, well worth trusting. His superior, Duke Elton, is also a good sort. Both are, believe, are, to believe, are to be believed when they speak. I take my leave and wish thee well. So we've already talked to Scar. He was at the end of the last episode and he is the one that gave us the mission to head to um, investigate the building in the southwest corner of the city. Like I said, there's a lot to investigate. We could go and look for... Uh, it actually probably wouldn't be a bad idea at some point to have a quick look um, to see if we can find some better weapons. Not, well, gear. I need, I need more arrows. I've got a good... Well, I need... I'd love some really good leather armor, which I could then get rid of this Ring of Princes, because I can't wear both um, the enchanted studded leather and the ring. I've got a magic bow, but I don't have anything for backup weapons. That's fine. I don't really want to use them. But I also want to get a better supply of arrows for all of us, enchanted ones. 
<coughs> Excuse me, I missed the mute button on that one. Um, Kivan doesn't have anything in the way of enchanted weapons, so we really should look at getting him some form of enchanted bow. I almost feel bad that um, Minsk also has spider bane, so Minsk is well set up. Kivan, not so much. Um, I'd like another enchanted uh, sling for Dinah hair and an enchanted short bow for Imowen would be nice as well, just to give us something to help around around there. Um, but I don't think there's any good. Uh, there's there's a sort there's just over this way there is um, which is the direction we have to head anyway. There is a magic shop over here, sorcerer sundries, um, but I doubt we'll find good magical weapons in there. It might be worthwhile. Let's just quickly stop in and see if there's any spells that we can get for. Yes. Dinah here. Well, he does have some magical weapons. That's just straight hide armor, so I don't want that. Um, arrows of slaying, very expensive. Acid arrows. Yeah, I mean, there are plus one weapons around. At the moment, I really would like a plus one bow and a plus one sling but he doesn't have those we know he's got a good selection of arrows if i want to if i want to do that um plus two ice some more fire arrows actually i really like the fire arrows i should and plenty of plus one so this is the place to come for for magic ammunition at the moment yeah, the Ogre Mages don't last very long, though, when we've got six people all shooting stuff at them from a distance. So I've, I've taken down one or two Ogre Mages so far in this playthrough, and they really haven't caused a problem. So I'm not too worried about them. Um, right, now, spells. Really, I think it's... I'm not overly happy with her second level. Oh, no, she's got Asgur and Scorcher now, doesn't she? That's a decent second level spell. Is there anything else? Flame Arrow is a third. She already knows that. Old Person she can't use because it's an enchantment and she's an evoker. Um, slow she knows, and it's a third level spell. Skull Trap is another third. I feel like we're really... I feel like there's almost nothing second level that's really all that useful for her. Thanks, Cypher. Yeah, the, the whole bandit hunting thing is, though, we didn't do the bandit hunting. We just... We did the absolute minimum we had to, so um, that's why we don't have a lot of fire arrows. We also could have got a lot of fire arrows if we had have cleared out the entirety of the mines at Nashville with uh, all the kobolds in there, because there's quite a few um, in those as well. Um, I feel like I'm not even sure if I'm going to get to the point of using some of these spells. But an Ice Storm, that's a fourth level spell. Kona Cold is a fifth level spell. Um, that one is, yeah, that's an evocation. That's an evocation. Tiny Meteor is another evocation. Um, what about Spell Deflection? That's level three. We might grab that. Whether we actually ever learn it and use it will be another story. Uh, we know all of those that we we've got all of those that we want. Blur is another second. Oh, we know that. Yeah, okay, that's another second level spell that would be good. Invisibility almost feels like we should just take it to have it 
even if we never use it. Uh, lightning Bolt. I mean, Lightning Bolt is good, but it's one of those... So the things like Asgrin Scorcher and the Ray of Frost that we've got, the Wand of Frost, right there, right up there. Um, they're, they're good, but the problem with them is, is that they travel in a straight line from the caster to the target, and anything that's in the line of sight gets hit. Lightning Bolt is the same, but there's one big problem. Lightning Bolt bounces off surfaces as well, so it can reflect back at you or it can reflect back at different angles and take out half of your party in the process. So while the idea of throwing a lightning bolt sounds good, it's a really bad spell to use in a lot of cases. Minor Globe of Invulnerability. Sunfire. I think I'm going to leave... Secret Word, what does that do? Oh, Dispels Protections. Okay. Yeah, I think I'll just leave it at that lot. That's a nice little bunch of spells for her. And then there's some ones which we don't want. So let's just make sure she learns all of these. Did we have anything in here to sell? Just some cursed scrolls which no one will buy. Right, we're not going to buy any ammunition just yet in here. We know there's good ammunition here. Let's continue over to the exit over this way. Go to the next part of the city. We're probably going to ignore most of the north side of Baldur's Gate at this point, unless I decide oh, this is part of the north side this is the centre, okay let's let's come here then, what have we got we've got lots of houses they're right there um yeah, I don't think I want to bother, we're right at the bottom here and we're just going to go an exit just over here, I feel. Um, there's a lot of other houses and stuff up here, but and there's a city wall in the middle. But I am proud to stand among there's such not, strong warriors. There's not really any any shops that look like they would have what we want. One is not forced to walk in the steps of their father. Uh, Antillus Falsum. Okay, this is interesting. And um, Elmissa told me you'd pass by this way soon enough. Looking into the Iron Throne, are we? Uh, let's play dumb, Elminster. Tedious fellow, isn't he? I suppose I would be too if I lived to see so many centuries as he has. But enough of the talk, Tony. Come to tell of the dark you have a very special heritage child one that graces you with more enemies than friends i fear this city holds many secrets and dangers and as you have rightly come to suspect the iron throne lies somewhere at the core of it all your investigations will not go unnoticed like as not unpunished i urge you to curry the favor of scar and duke elton both of the flaming fists as they are good men at heart and capable of providing you with some guidance and protection in this urban vast but i tarry here too long it is Best we not be seen together. Um, what is going on? A decency is refreshing. So many we meet are there we go. lacking. Um, it is, that was a really strange interaction. I've got to be honest. Um, Harbour Master. This. So, there is the Iron Throne building right here, but yes. 
Um, but that's not our mission. Our mission is to go to the Seven Suns at the moment. Now, <clears throat> the other thing to point out is apparently this building here. I'm just looking at a guide online here. Yes, I will be streaming later on today as well, uh, St. Salvius. I'm going to stream for a couple of hours now, have some lunch, come back, stream for a couple more hours. Maybe take a break and have some dinner, stream again. Maybe. Two or three times today I will be. Um, so I'm trying not to... to to sort of spoil things for me, but apparently this building right here has a couple of ogre mages in it. Um, watch your step, cease break and make the top, top, the cobbles a touch treacherous. Anything I can do to help you? What do you do here? Duke's own dock hand. Just a dock here like any others. Been around the world galleys to unload. Where's from the new world? A new world? Is there some sort of dimensional portal in the middle of the sea through which you pass? Is better yet, they say now that the world is no longer flat, that it is that it has become round, a perfect shaped sphere. Round itself like a wizard's crystal. We perch atop it up its upright half and the new world of Mastica clings to its underside like so many bats. Someday I shall sneak aboard one of these ships and I might see such wonders. Hurrah to your new world then. Alas, I cannot. We'll talk another day. See you later, St. Salvius. Have a good rest. Yeah, there is a couple of Ogre Magi in this building that will attack us. And I feel like it's a... It might be an interesting little fight. So, let's quick save. And let's head in. Ogre Mage. Ogre Mage. Brilliant. Um, let's do this. We're going to concentrate our fire on the first one, which, you know, makes sense. Uh, yeah, acid arrow, I think. You don't have any special bolts, but that's fine. He's not protected at the moment, hopefully. And <clears throat> let's try silence 15 foot radius on him. Go. Little pink ones, you shall all die. The son of murder offers 10,000 gold for the head and we shall have it. So they're assassins. Ooh. There are more than just two. Either that or these are some sort of illusions. But that guy's dead. Um, you're still casting your spell. The rest of us are going to cast on him because he's actually casting a spell right now. You can do a magic missile on him, I think. All right, so we took a little bit of damage from those spells, but one, two, three. Three of them are silenced. I think that other guy over here must have cast invisibility. Yep, invisible. So Dinah here couldn't cast a spell against him because of that. Oops, that's not what I want. Um, okay. Drink your potion. You're... Oh, great. You're held. Paralyzed. So are you, so are you, so are you. Oh, wonderful. 
Uh, that guy is silenced, though. So let's try that. Rather than drinking your potion, what if we do a whole person on him? Oh, no, they're not... They're not held. They are... Um, that's going to be... Uh, confused. Yes. Did... Branwen casts a uh, whole person on Ogre Mage. It mustn't have worked. Let's try one more. This is a little bit dangerous because she is injured. Yeah, and my guys are just shooting at everyone and everything. saved okay we've got to reload this this fight does seem like it might be a little bit too hard for us because of the fact that so many extra guys appear out of nowhere but we'll try it again right so I think the strategy that we had was actually pretty good we managed to take down that first guy super quick that worked really well um what we're going to do is i felt like the acid arrow was probably a waste on that first guy because he was killed so quickly by arrows so not going to bother that. We're going to target him. But also, we're going to put the silence on him straight away as well. Because he is not going to cast... Um, he's not going to cast invisibility quickly enough to do anything. Okay, we got a couple of silences, and a lot, a, a few of us managed to avoid <clears throat> the confusion. Mostly, Dinah here. So, and Minsk, of course. You need to drink a potion. Damn it. The confusion is the big problem there. The confusion is what is is really getting us. just magic missile that guy in the back I think and then I still I still like the silence on him I still think that works well did we get a did we get that silence off What happened there? I didn't see the silence go. Ranwin cast silence. Oh, it's only just been cast. <sighs> okay. I think we've got one invisible guy and that one there. Uh, 
and at the moment Dinah hair no nobody oh god we're all confused yeah unless we can get a good RNG with the, the saves on that confusion we're gonna have problems um but who maybe maybe we need to take him out first maybe he's the one who's casting confusion let's try that maybe that strategy is what we need no shoot please um and we'll cast magic missile on him you can attack there and we'll get you to do silence on him there goes the silence damn it we got confused again I wish I could work out which one one of them is casting it and they're casting it very very quickly And that's the end of us because not only does it allow them to attack us super quickly but it um we're attacking each other okay so it wasn't either of these two that were casting confusion Okay, let's try a different strategy. You are going to definitely still cast Silence on him. Um, let's get Dinah here over to the side so that maybe she can use her Scorcher. Right, let's... I mean, it could be that all of these guys are casting infusion spells, and that's why we are dying so quickly. Damn it. That's the see, that's the problem with lightning bolt bounces around and just rips its way through everything it killed the caster as well but rips its way through everything um let's try one more strategy We're going to come in here and we are going to scatter a little bit. Um, you're not. You're still going to cast Silence. Maybe on that guy this time. You are going to come up over to there. You probably aren't going to be able to move much. Because everybody else is going to be in the way. You're going to move over to there. You're going to move up to there. And I'm going to move up to there.
I mean, we're not really spread out as much as I would like. Okay, that's better now. That's not great spread, but it's better than it was. Um, okay, so you're taking out him. He's almost dead. Uh, and you're helping, so that's good. You can take on him. And how about you use that on him? You know when you can help and you've just cast your silence. Okay, we did have a few people get confusion cast on them, but not everybody. Are you still trying... You are still trying to use your... Your bolt. Uh, uh, so there's still two guys... To kill. Good. You're taking on him. How about you magic missile him? Uh. And again, please. He's dead. One more thing. Oh, there's another guy. He snuck out. We can just last until everybody else's negative status effects wear off. I might just take that as a win and go and get Imowen resurrected. And call it good. far away that was a noble deed uh let's see now all the gems away those are standard scimitars we're not going to use them for anything okay that was that was um, Imowen's armor. And she carried all of that and those, that and that. Um, carry that. This will go away. The short bow was Imelon's and the sword was Imelon's. Okay, let's really quickly raid this place. Hopefully nothing's locked. Oh, hang on, there was some stuff there I could pick up. Where was that? Katana and more gems. Just 
History of the North. History of the Red Ravens. Let's see, we got a book. All right. Nothing there. Burning Hands. And some gold. Oh, and there's an upstairs. Whose inventory is full? Oh, that was from before. There's no more Ogre Magi up here. Not exactly in a good position to attempt to uh, take them on. Okay, nothing else to loot up here. So was there, I'm just trying to find a temple somewhere. There was a temple to Lathander back in the previous section we were in. in the centre. And then... Just double check. If we go to the final place we need to go... No, there's no, no sort of temples or anything there. So let's head back this way. Uh, we can give that to you. We'll be end up selling those. Can't use whole person. And you can't, we're going to sell both of those. Okay. Um, we didn't really find any decent enchanted gear there either. We just found a bunch of... Unique swords. All of that stuff was Imelins. Um, I'm not leveling up these guys until I find out whether I'm going to be able to raise Imelin up or not. Because if I can't, we'll have to reload the previous save. Um... Okay, we're right there. There should be just over this way is the entrance into the main part of the city, the centre of the city, the CBD, Central Business District. Not really, it's just... So, ambling tents here, just beyond that, should be a fortune teller there. I thought there was a... Saw something here that said Lothander, which is Oh no. That it that is someone called Lothander that is not actually like the god Lothander. I thought that was a temple there. It is not. Uh let's see, what's Aha! Let's head north. There's a temple to Helm. Yep. 
Okay. So let's just oh, I'm gonna, let's just keep going up. Here and off the edge of the map. There. And then over this way. Ooh, we can get in the sewers here. Something on your mind? You look like sewer running types if I ever saw it. What do you mean? Sewer running, kiddo. Taking a crawl through the urban man's dungeon, alright? Who are you calling kiddo? I don't call no one kiddo, man. I, it's just the way I talk. I mean, you guys are so cool, you swish when you walk. Anyway, whatever. Bull of Helm. Let's get a resurrection going. The Vigilant One knows of all your sins. Um, 800. Okay. waste actually to do that because we are just going to um, find somewhere to go and rest probably We've got plenty of money, so it's not a big deal. Okay. Uh, let's get you set back up. Very good. Uh, okay, while we're out of here, let's quick save. And let's get these levels. Not that they're anything spectacular, but more hit points, slightly better chance to hit. All good. Okay, so there's a tower over to the east. What? Doesn't say anything about the tower. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to quickly head back to where we were. Might as well just travel all the way down to there. Um, <laughs> uh, 
There is a tavern here, but there's no point in going to it. Because there's also a tavern nice and close over here. And this is the location we need to go to, ultimately. So... Um, and there's also a shop. There's two weapon shops in this area. says general store and well there was supposed to be an inn here oh hang on I am not where I thought I was right that general store there is actually a potion shop and that is the Seven Sons we're supposed to go to. We want to go up this way. I thought I was in the next street over. So this here is a weapons store, actually. So let's have a look at that. Where's the shopkeep? Welcome to my humble establishment. Right. Very humble. And you don't buy gems. So... No point coming in here. Uh, but... Here, probably. This here... Is the tavern... We want to go to? Uh-oh. That's not good. Slimes, hey? Slimes are immune to... Like, Minsk hit with an arrow plus two and the slimes were immune? Oh, great. Um... How about I give you some acid arrows and use some arrows of biting and let's see if they do anything because at the moment we're in deep trouble if none of the stuff we've got is able to do much damage. Arrows of biting don't do anything. The acid arrow did. So if the arrows of biting aren't doing anything, how about you try and use your sword, I think? I don't want you wasting arrows of biting. Okay. You've run out of spells. Good spells, anyway. That'll... That'll do. Okay. There's also... Slime in the kitchen. Gotta keep an eye on that. 
Um, what about you use the Wand of Magic Missiles? Very good, everybody. See what we can do to help there. Right, I had no idea that was going to be... That was going to be there. Um, not sure how we are supposed to... Maybe we go out, come back in. No. Commoner in there. And a commoner there. Upstairs, maybe. It's hoping to find somewhere to rest, but... Oh, that's annoying. All right. I guess we go back out to the other location. So if we go back over this way. Here, it was. Where was the inn here? Tavern, all the way over here. So I doubt they're going to let us rest in the street. Very good. Wonderful. That's very ominous music. Well, not ominous, but a little bit spooky, a little bit... I don't know. So, we need to go to the Seven Suns, which should be right here. Uh, right, I don't know why those two weren't selected all of a sudden. Let's save. Now, we're supposed to do this stealthily, but I don't know. Let's just see what happens. Yes? What can I do for you? So... Not sure... Okay, I wanted to ask you about 
some questions about your recent business. Some people find them very questionable. Sorry, but I'm in a real hurry. Please don't bother me. Uh, not until I answer some questions. Listen here. There have been some strange things happening about the Seven Sons, but I'd rather not talk about it. Everybody I know has been acting really strange of late. I've seen some of the other merchants change faces when they thought I wasn't looking. Yes, you heard me right. They changed faces. Some sort of shapeshifters have infiltrated the Seven Sons. If I were you, I'd get out of here while there's still time, and that's what I'm planning to do. Um, so, let's head out, and let's let... Seven Sons have been infiltrated by shapeshifters. Okay, so the Flaming Fist headquarters is just over this way. Let's, uh... Let's see if we can talk to Scar and let him know about the doppelgangers. Well, the shapeshifters. Go. Uh, according to one of the merchants we met, the Seven Sons have been infiltrated by some sort of shapeshifter. I don't know what kind of monster they are, but the merchants are fearful. Serious news. I want you to return to the compound and destroy the infestation of monsters. I'll be willing to double your wage. Okay. Yep, sure. We'll do it. Yep. This is their building down here. So let's come back over here. We're going to re-save that, that full save that we did a minute ago. And um, get ready to head in. The cities of Rashomon are empty compared. Actually, my understanding is it probably the other way. Oh, maybe not Rashomon. I'm thinking Kalisham. Never mind. And you know what? We we have oh, we don't have a bless anymore. I got rid of that. Okay. Oh, there was chant, wasn't there? How long did that last for? One turn. No, we'll wait on that. All right. Let's... No. Save. Seven suns. In we go. Leave us alone, will you? Nothing for you here. I am Fulio Desplarius, destroyer of the seven suns, Rag. Yes, I've got your face now, but not your name. Name is my business, I'm not here. You wish silence, then we ask the same of you. Bother us not. If you be merchants as you say you are, would you not then be eager to sell your wares. We sell to those who have the money to buy, not adventuring paupers. Uh, do you seek the truth so earnestly that you would lose everything? I will risk everything, but I shall not lose it. You are not merchants and I am no fool. Show your true face that I may know them. You're wrong on both, you're, fool, you're wrong on both counts. You're fools even to be here, for we are indeed merchants, though not of wares. You would be familiar with. We are merchants of faces and names, merchants of identities, merchants of skin, even when the flesh it contains is so much rubbish. We are doppelgangers, and for a skin pittance, we sell fools their death. 
really. Okay, so... Um, you're already using the arrows of ice. How many of those have I got? I've got a lot. Good. Oops, no. You need to be attacking him with the arrows of ice. You can attack him with those. Yeah, you can attack him with those. How about you magic missile him? You don't have any enchanted arrows, do you? So we'll just use normal ones for the moment. And we'll wait for you to do anything special because I'm not sure if these guys are magical or not. One down. Uh, how about you cast it against him, which probably won't help very much because... He's going to be dead in a matter of seconds as well. Here's another one. There was another one. Um, I feel like that's all of them, but... Good on you if you save the day. Quest didn't really indicate that. It's not like... Those are windows, they're not doors. There's no doors around the edges here. There's a door there. Okay, I missed that. Come to torment me some more, you shape shifting bastards. We are not the shapeshifters you speak of. We're friends sent by Scar to see what's been going wrong here at the Seven Suns. Who are you? You know, Scar, I am Yasso, a friend of his and the owner of the Seven Suns. You have to help me get out of here. Uh, would you tell us what's been going on here? These creatures, the shapeshifters, started infiltrating the Seven Suns some months ago. They must have started with some of the less important members of my costa. Eventually they captured me and their leader took my face. They've been keeping me alive in order to gain information that they need through torture. I don't know what their purpose is, but they've been running my business very poorly. All of you will be well rewarded for rescuing me. When you meet Scar again, he will give you my reward. I must be off now as, as there is much of the monster's work to be undone. I assume you've dealt with the other monsters upstairs. If you haven't, I'll get the Flaming Fist to clear out the rest. It'll probably be weeks before we can clean out their stench. Nothing in that barrel. Ooh, an enchanted spear. And the rest probably isn't worth taking. What was in there? There's stuff in there. How about... Uh... Okay, locked. Fine. Should have known. Okay. 
and nothing in any of the cells. Although I've got to, I've got to wonder why trading house has a dungeon with three cells in the bottom. And why the doppelgangers didn't put him in one of those cells. It's all a little weird. Let's go back and see what Scar says now. Because we're going to have to work out what our next step is. Um, doppelgangers are all dead. Yasso is back in control of the business. I'll give you the wage you deserve. Triple our original agreement. I want to keep in touch with you, especially if the Iron Throne is up to what you say it is. Another job you might be interested in. Uh, what does it entail? Every night people have been disappearing from the streets of the city. My men have been scouring the city trying to find the culprit, but so far to no avail. Um... Something has to be done. 300 gold in advance and a 1,000 gold bonus if you discover what's happening. Okay, um, sure. From the city, east of the city, find an entrance to a sewers. You'll probably get lucky and find out what's been happening. If you do, find out what's been happening. Come to see me. Our only clue so far has led us to the sewers. We've also found tracks of some many-legged creatures, probably a centipede-like monster. Okay, so... adventure, and steel on steel. The stuff of legend. Right, Boo? So the fact that it's a centipede-like monster suggests to me um, that it is potentially another carrion crawler. Uh, which, if we can keep it at a distance and fill it full of arrows quickly enough, it shouldn't be a problem, then it will not be a major issue. This group shows promise. Uh, that is that the general store that we've already been into? No, that's another potion store. This one here though is another weapon store. I don't know how good it is. I am proud but to stand let's have a look. such strong warriors. Welcome to my humble establishment. Yeah, no. Oh, you will buy some of these, though. Okay. Oh, and I've got those that I hadn't put away. Uh, let's get... That identified before we sell it. Oh, we hadn't got rid of those previously, so let's do that. We don't want those, so we'll get rid of them. Oh, and that's right, you had a couple of things as well. We can sell, we'll identify those in a sec. No potions we didn't want. Doesn't have any spell slots left. Let's just pay to get all those identified, I guess. If he can. 
He might not be able to. Oh, yeah, he can. Wonder Magic Missiles, potion, protection of, from electricity, protection from undead. Yeah. I think we'll sell that. We're not using the current Wonder Magic Missiles that we got, so we're hardly going through these things. Although... Um, can anybody use these? Because you don't, you don't really have a lot of offensive capability at the moment. Magic Missile doesn't do a lot, though. No, we're better off just selling it. Let's just sell it. I will forget about it, and it'll just sit there and never be used if I don't sell it now. So, at least the Wonder Frost we will use. It is still situational. Um... But I know we will use it. Okay, so we really need somewhere to rest. This group shows promise exceptional. Because in particular, Dinah here is out of. Oh, I thought. Oh, okay. I thought she knew it. Um, Identify. She doesn't. Okay, no, we don't actually need to rest. We're doing good. Um, but we do need to go back to the east of the city because that's what we've been asked to do. Um, we need to go back to East Baldur's Gate. Yeah, which is where we entered the city. Right, so over here. Well, we haven't actually been there yet. Probably would make sense to do that at some point. Um, we could go to the Elfsong Tavern and rest. We don't need to, but it is the middle of the night. Welcome to my humble establishment. Oh. Wrong building, but that's fine. Okay, he's got a store of sorts. Still nothing that we want. I thought we were at the Elf Song Tavern, but it's over here. realized it would look a bit bigger than that. What you want? Um are you fighters and mages, monsters, killers? Yeah. He just wants us to kill bandits and goblins. I don't know who Brevlik is, but I don't really want to talk to anybody to get extra missions that I don't need. Anything I can do for you? Yes. Thank you. Done. All right, we need to find a sewer entrance. That looks like one there, maybe. Oh, there's one right there. Well, she does know identify, but she only knows one a day. How long did that last for? One turn. Yeah, okay.
That was a noble deed. Walking around the big pit in the... In the sewer was a noble deed somehow. Or, or you're saying not killing the rats that we find is the noble deed, is it? Okay, we can't go through there. Oh, that is blocked off as well. Okay, we can go this way. I don't want to get too far ahead because I want to be careful that... Uh, my main guys are in the front. We might actually need to go to a breast here. Just so that we've got semi-decent party layout. Okay. End of the line that way. way. Basically I'm going around the edges of the map first like rather than going that way which has a pretty large area associated with it, come over this way because it's probably going to be a dead end or a small room. So should be keeping an eye out. You are searching for traps, that's good. That leads back to where we started. Let's go up this way. I mean, there could be something in that spot there, but check that in a minute, I suppose. Must be a sewer exit. What have we just found? Oh, a phase spider. No, neither of you need to do anything. I got it. Thank you. I don't want you wasting your... healing abilities doing something that I was able to do. Okay, that's a dead end. We can't go in there. Can't go that way. Let's just because I'm I don't know why I would exp I like I, I'm not getting why there are spiders in the sewers. That, that doesn't mean a lot of sense that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Any number of things I would expect to be in the sewers, but I just would not have thought spiders. Dead bodies floating in the sewer, that I can understand. Okay, can't go over there, that's locked, that's locked. Can go that way, we can go this way. Actually, I need you guys to be switching back to slightly more usable ammunition, I think. I almost feel like we should have gone 
picked up some more magical ammo for those guys. Okay, we are blocked off. We can't go any further that way. So, I guess we are back down this way. These all seem to converge to a general area there, which is more than likely going to be... I know it is where the bad guys are, but logic says that is where they are going to be. Some puny surface dwellers have come to their death. I'll just it'll just be extra treasure for my collection. My pets have been causing much anguish on the surface realm, haven't they? I'm so useful at collecting the surface pinklings. My pet uses the flesh for food and I get the pretty treasure. My pets kill these intruders. Well, actually no. We're gonna kill you. Um first, because, you know. You're evil. Um, I will... I will magic missile you. I don't know, is it really worthwhile? I don't think he's going to live long enough for silence to be much use, or for that to be much use. But what I will do is cast that. something, Branwyn, because I really want you to be healing me. Uh, yeah, this isn't... isn't quite working out as I would have liked. Let's stay back here and see if we can't kill as many of these as possible. No, 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 no. We want you all back here. Okay, creep forward just a little bit. Are you able to kill him? No. Stop. What if I move? No. Just you. What if I move you to there? You able to attack? You are. Everybody. Okay, that's two of them down. That's a nice way to cheese things. Ooh, there's a third one. you to attack no 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 he should come around the corner why is he not coming around the corner Alright, 
I think we've cheesed most of them. There was that one right there. Can I get him? And... Right. Kill the intruders. I don't think so. We are going to do silence. I'm going to cast it right there. Oh. Cast it on him. Didn't need it. a level. Probably going to be more of these things, so let's just, uh, ooh. Uh, I don't think we want to grab the bodies. Because having to carry them out seems like a lot of work. Must be an exit. Certainly looks like it. Right down this way. Dead end. Doubt there's going to be another Aryan crawler down this way, but let's just get an electric check. All good. Uh, it's up this way. And more treasures. Just can't exit that way. Basically, you just want to exit the way I came in. Dead carrion crawler. Oh. Okay, I'll give her her level. Oh, Emma one got a level two. Okay, we get some more first level spells. Um, maybe another identify. Don't get anything more there. We get a couple of second level spells. Uh, fireball is nice. 
but hard to aim. That does actually sound really good. So flame arrow and that, and then when we get another level, we'll, we'll add haste to the mix because that is really good. Having us all move nice and quick. Try and make sure we've got all the carrion crawlers cleared out. Yep, we do. Uh, we came in here, I think. So let's come back to here. Where are we going? Actually, let's just come up here. Ooh. Oh, that's the section of the map we never went to before. Um... No, what is the... That must be it. That must be where we are. Yes, it is. Um... Ooh, there's a place called Blade and Stars. What is that? That's a shop. What sort of shop is that? It just says store on the map. Welcome to my humble establishment. That is somebody's ring. Um, we also need to identify these. Can't sell those potions yet, so you can carry them. I want to get rid of that, so let's just drop it on the ground because, yeah. Nothing spectacular there. We will sell both of them. What has he got first? Nothing much. All right. Sell that. Sell that. Um, we don't have anything in our gem bag. Right. I will be right back. One second.
All right. Uh, where did I say there was another store over this way, wasn't there? No sign on that house. Uh, this is where we want to go. Oh, hang on, Bladens. Is that a... That might be a tavern, actually. Looks like a bed. It is. Alright, at least we know now. My rooms are the best kept on the Sword Coast. Right. Do we want to rest? Sure. It's not like we can't afford it. Um... Really? There is a business down here with a very strange name. Maybe it's not a business though. A business. Oh, there he is. Welcome to my humble establishment. I'm well adjusted Al. I used to be called Crazy Al, but therapy has convinced me that selling plate armor for three gold pieces and a small duck was no way to get ahead in business. Right. Arrows of piercing is all you've got. Yeah. Okay. Gotta go back to Scar now that we've Gotten rid of that ogre mage. Ogre Mage holed up in the sewers, responsible for all the disappearances. Several carrion crawlers that would steal up to carry off random victims. The crawlers used their hapless prey as food, and the Ogre Mage took any valuables. Uh... Yep, we had the, sa the Sash and Star family theme. Thank you for honesty, I'll throw in a bonus. Wonderful, we got rid of that ring, didn't have to worry about it. Um, right, so... Help us, please. This... What do you need? Is either just down the hall. Um, it's it. No, that's not the hall. This way, maybe. Um, yeah. I mean, like, no. That's a stairs. Right.
So this is the sort of thing that sort of gets me lost in this game. It's we're at a Okay, so I have to probably go outside. What the hell? That's Fergus. There's some sort of dungeon underneath. I'm gonna ignore that for the moment. Uh outside maybe is where we're gonna find Scar. I'm I'm at a loss as to what I'm supposed to do next is the problem. And the game doesn't really give us a lot of help. Um I can find him out... So Scar wants a word with me, something to do with the Iron Throne. I can find him outside the Flaming Fist Barracks. I mean, is that not the Flaming Fist Barracks? He's supposed to be, he supposedly will talk to me outside here, but I don't. Don't see him anywhere. Oh, now he appears. Uh, the Iron Throne, Duke Elton wish, okay, so Duke Elton wants to, of course. So we go back into the compound. Complete waste of my time. Upstairs we talk to the Duke. Right. Let me introduce you to Duke Elton. The Grand Duke Elton. One of the Lords of the City. Commander of the Flaming Fist. And member of the Lord's Alliance. Glad to see you come. I know that such a meeting is unusual. But in these circumstances is necessary. I would first ask what involvement you have with the Merchant Society. Known as the Iron Throne. Uh, we've learned that they're involved in a plot that threatens the stability of your city. From what I've been told, you've been quite a thorn in the side of the Iron Throne. I'm interested in you because of the obvious hatred they have for you. Their recent activities have been brought to my attention, and I'm very dubious about the intent of the throne. I think it is far too easy to blame the recent caravan rains and iron shortage on the Zentarum. Though the evidence does point to them, they do not have much to profit, while the Iron Throne has everything to gain. I have much to concern me right now, especially the tension rising between our city and the nation of Arm. Unfortunately, my hands are tied. I can't act against the Iron Throne until I have hard evidence of their wrongdoing. That, of course, that's, of course, where you come in. I need a small group of spies to break into the headquarters and see if you can find any proof of their involvement with the caravan raids. Uh, sure. He'll be back as soon as possible. All right. Uh... Okay, let's get out of here. So, the Iron Throne building is um, in the Baldur's Gate docks area where we fought those iron, those um, ogre magi. What we're going to do, it's over that way, but I'm, tr I'm trying to find an edge of the map that I can use to, to travel without having to walk all the way over to the east side of this map. Can I get through here and travel? Oh god, I might as well just... Yeah, because this is the, the western edge of the city. And there's no way through there. 
Okay, looks like I'm going all the way around. Oh, look at that. I can't even go that way. Oh, what an absolute waste of time. All right. Let's get over to here. Um, so, Iron Throne building, yes, definitely want to do it. But I do, as I said, I do want to get some more enchanted ammunition. And I would really like to find... somewhere that might be selling some decent gear and I just I don't know sort of going through every house and seeing which ones are merchants and which ones aren't um That one there's no that's the docks i didn't want to go to the docks silly me i want to go to here yes we want to come up here to sun to sorceress sundries i would dearly like to get some sort of enchanted bow for both Ivan and Imowen, but I don't think it's going to happen, fortunately. Let's talk to this guy. We didn't have anything else. Oh, we'll, we'll quickly sell those, I guess. And those. Very good. All right. Actually, let's do a complete reevaluation of our arrow situation, shall we? Let's just get all of our arrows. Inventory is full because it's full of normal arrows that are a waste. And you don't have any enchanted arrows at all. All right, so we have almost three full stacks of the plus two arrows. So if I can get that to another full stack, well, actually, I would want another stack beyond that as well. Oh, hang on. Um, I'm not going to be able to carry much here. Let's put one lot of that there. You can have two of those. You can have two of those. Actually, let's chuck you. How are you doing for arrows? Let's give you those two. All right. Do this again. Uh, plus one arrows. He's got a truckload of. That's really good. Okay, the plus twos. Only five at a time, though. That's a that's a pain. Um, yeah, so that makes almost a complete set there. And then if I come down here and I do another, um, Warlock Schmorlock, thanks for the follow. Um, 80 divided by 5. Why can I not work that out? 6 fives are 30. 8 fives are 40. It's 
to me 16. Wonderful. Now, I have 48 arrows of ice. If I get like six of those, that gets that almost up to a full set. Um, the arrows plus one, I've only got two of those. Oh, I'm glad you're in. You're enjoying both my streaming of it, and I hope you're enjoying the um, the playthrough of it. Okay, let's. Okay, that's plus one arrows for everyone but myself. I got a full set of those. We've got enough of these for everybody. Um, do I want arrows of detonation? Wow, that is scary. Uh, a lot of the time I play archers, rangers type of characters, yeah. Um, so I'm playing an archer in this playthrough. Uh, so the archer subclass of ranger, which just absolutely slays it. I mean, if you look at the stats here, this character has done 42% of the kills, 43% of the kills in the party for the entire game. So I've almost... This one character has done almost half of the actual kills. Um, 170. It's just, it's really good. The other character that works really well in this game is a wizard hunter, wizard slayer, whatever it is, the, the, the sub, subclass of fighter. Um, because they debuff wizards so that they have a good chance of um miscasting any spells so they work really well uh okay let's start handing some of these out plus two to you some plus twos for you some plus twos for you and oh i thought i had another set of plus twos for me of course i do that's them there so let me okay Plus ones for you, plus ones for you, plus ones for you. And oh, look, I've got a spare set for me, which I didn't really want. That's all right. I know I've got a full set. Well, actually, I could, could use those as my default arrows. It's probably not a bad idea, to be honest. Yeah, Cleric can be good for heals, but I have um, brand one. You can't see for my ugly mug. I have brand one for my heels. Um, this part, this entire party is just using ranged because ranged is just OP in this game because of the way the fog of war works. When you try, when you move around, if you turn on in your options under gameplay, if you turn on the auto pause on enemy sighted, then you can walk around a map, and as soon as an enemy appears out of the fog of war, everybody the game will pause. You then get everybody to attack them with ranged weapons, and you don't have that problem where half of your party move, or you know, or all of your party moves forward and uncovers the rest of the group of enemies. So you can basically whittle down. If there is a group of say ten enemies, using this method, you only have to fight two or three of them at a time and you can fight them in small groups and pick them off it works just it's it's just ridiculously op um so that's that's the strategy that i use um and so i've got 
uh, Keevan the Ranger, the Elven Ranger, Minsk, the... Oh, yeah. Thanks for the subscription. Uh, Minsk is, of course, another Ranger as well. So these three guys, myself and the two Rangers, are all using longbows. Um, Dinah Hare is here because you have to have her if you want Minsk, but also she's our wizard. Um, so she's doing spells at range. We've got Imowen. Now, canonically, you're supposed to convert Imowen to a, a, a wizard at some point, but I've decided not to do that. She's just there with a short bow, blinking away at everybody. And then uh, Branwen is our healer, but she's also got a sling. So does um, Dinah Hare. So everyone's able to attack from range and just absolutely wipe out our opponents. Um, I want... I am not going to buy the arrows of detonation. They are way too dangerous. It's basically an arrow that casts a fireball. That'll blow away half my party. So if anyone in my party... If, if, if I give this arrow of detonation to anybody and they get confused or charmed or anything like that it's going to blow away half my party um yeah not going to do that i think though i've got the arrows of ice i think i would like a full stack of arrows of fire as well so let's just get 16 of those And that'll do for now. We've got plenty of money still that we can buy more stuff later if we need to. Um, I'm not even sure if I need to rest, but I feel like I should rest, just, just in case. Didn't really keep track of where I was with um, spell usage, etc., but good look, but I'm I'm too lazy, so let's just rest. And it costed me eight gold. Nothing's time critical at the moment, so well, I don't think anything's ever time critical, to be honest. Uh, Iron Throne, yes. Iron Throne right over here is where we need to go to get out of this area. Yeah, things like charm and all that sort of stuff are just—they can be a real pain. Um, that's why I like the Wizard Slayer character as well. So after I finish this playthrough, like I've played this game a lot, but I've never actually finished it. This is almost as far as I've ever been in the game. Um, because I always got, whenever I got into Baldur's Gate here, there's so many subquests. If you actually wander around and talk to people, you pick up so many subquests here that it's hard to, to keep track of what you're supposed to be doing for the main quest line. And so for years, I mean, I, I bought this game when it originally came out. And I, I played the snot out of it then, and I've picked it up several times over the years. And I really don't get much further than about this part of the game because of that problem. But I'm, I'm focusing this time. I've got the blinkers on. I'm not looking anywhere but at the main quest. Uh, which means my character is a little bit lower level than they could be. Like, I'm only level 5. Um, but that's what I'm trying to do to not, to not get distracted, which means that I'm not running into things like, like I haven't done most of the map down here. I've ignored all of this stuff. Like what I, what I used to do is, you know, you come, you leave Candlekeep, you go to Friendly Army and you come down to Baragost. You come down to Nash Cal, I usually go over to the carnival and pick up Dinah Hare, not Dinah Hare, uh, Branwen, and then with Minsk, we come over here, we rescue Branwen, and then we come back to Nash Cal. And often before I do the mines, I'll do some areas around here, but then I'll come and do the mines, and then on the way back from the mines, on my way back up to Baldur's Gate, I usually do every map area down here before we do the... Um, the bandit camp here and then the cloakwood stuff here and so by the time i got up here to do anything with boulders gate basically this lower half of the map everything from here down i had done everything that's what i used to do not this time this time it is 
concentrate purely on the quest line, the main quest line. Um, and that way I'm, I'm not going to be you know, distracted. But what I'm also uh, mentioning is the fact that I am, um, I am planning to play Icewind Dale after this, and I'm going to do that playthrough with a Wizard Slayer. Um, and hope it goes well. Let's do a full save here. Iron Throne. Uh, we want to change our party layout. And you will get your armor on. And I expect this to be fairly... Fairly intense from the first moment. No time to chit chat. Out, away, fly while you can. There be madness here, and I can stand it no longer. Calm down and explain yourself that I may understand you better. Calm down, calm down while so Sarvox acolytes practice their magic cacophony above me. I dare say not, stranger. I dare say not at all. And he's going to run away. What about you? Are you going to say anything? All my stuff is authentic. Really, it is. If you hear about obtaining iron shipments, then you best do elsewhere. Okay, you don't have anything. So Sarbok is upstairs. Hey, Ooh, there's, all my stuff there's is a downstairs. Authentic. Really, it is. Okay, hang on. Welcome to the Iron Throne Citadel. Could you please state what business brings you here? Um. Well, actually, I'm not here to kill everybody who associates themselves with the Iron Throne. This is with the leaders. Uh... Oh, you you want to fight, do you? All right. Well, where's the rest of the guards? That's it. That's, that's everything. All right. I was expecting that to be a little bit more of a fight. Uh, there's no doors over here. There is the downstairs, which I'm almost tempted to go and have a look at. There's no doors along this side, and then there's just the two stairways going up. I think I have done this once before, but uh, not in this far, but I'm just not sure. Where do you think you're going? Upstairs, where do you think you're going? Somewhere far away from wisecrackers like yourself, I hope. So we have intruders. Well, there's one right in the middle of us. He's going to have to die first because... How are we missing him when he's right there? What happened to your bow? Oh, I... I didn't equip either of these guys properly. Hang on a sec. Hang on. That is embarrassment plus. All right. There we go. Let's set everybody up properly this time. You're all good. Uh... And you're all good. Right. Now, let's do that again. No time to chit-chat. Right, let's head in here so the guard can hey, come. Yeah. Uh... There we go. All right. Up the stairs, like last time. Quick save before we do so. I should have joined the army. That is much better. Go. 
go. And finally... Is there still a battle? Ah. Technically, yes, there is still a battle. Most of this stuff is not worth touching. It's not worth picking up all that junk to sell. Yeah, don't want any of that. Unless it's enchanted. Thank you. Alright. Coin will take. We don't need arrows anymore either, so we're not going to bother with them. Although, you know, if you've got a um, enchanted composite longbow somewhere. We wouldn't say no to that. Uh, Thank there, you for your kind words. There are no other doors around here. It's just a level where they get to ambush you and try and kill you. Okay. Hmm. I should have joined the army. Uh, could you tell me where I could find Rolston? It's important. Da, 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 da. What was damn sung? So it seems to think he's in here. No clue, sorry. And the guard. Uh... Yeah. There we go. Don't give me any lip, peasant. Do you know who I am? Emissary Tar. At last, someone who looks like they could be of assistance. How may I assist you, ma'am? Little desire to suffer. You may call me Emissary Tar. Direct me towards the nearest staircase. I have some important business to conduct on the fifth floor. They lie behind us. I'm not interested in what she's doing. Up there, and yeah, I'm not going to rifle through all of that stuff. I doubt it is really all that important. A bartender? Hey, that's different. What have we got in here? What you want? Estes Gurn. It must be the city negotiators. Let me see. On the list here. Emissary, Emissary Tar, right on time. A pleasure to meet you. My name is Destin Gurn, Assistant Chief Accountant. Now, just a quick briefing on your negotiator before you head up the stairs. Thaldron will be accompanied by a board of six Iron Throne advisors sent to us from abroad. Uh, quite respectable men, eager to meet you. We also have a seventh member on the board, and Mr. Lyle Esper, he's sure things go smoothly. I'm afraid I'm not the emissary. Let's see what we can find. I don't want all of these books. If there's something more interesting than a book, like potions, not potions, scrolls, I'll take them. that one. In here, just a merchant. What's in here? Just another merchant. Okay, let's head upstairs.
want to ask you a few questions. Sabbath quarters, you might meddle. The meddling will stop here. That went all crazy for a minute. What have we got? Okay, you're already... That's a doppelganger. Okay, I thought that was going to be someone casting spells, but it's not. Um, that one looks like he might be a bit of a cleric. These two just look like they're fighters. This guy is a rogue or a thief of some kind, and I suspect just a touch dangerous. Okay, so there was a spellcaster in there amongst it all. Uh, why am I not using the good arrows? Come on, guys. Get with it. Let you finish drinking your potion. Okay, we got rid of that guy. Good. Let's get rid of this doppelganger who is threatening. Uh, magic missile on that guy, please. And how about you do whole person on the thing? Should have switched to our good arrows. I didn't have to do it first. I could could have done it during battle, but if I do it now, I'm not going to forget about it. Let's do this again. Okay, that guy is a spellcaster. So how about we try and stop him? Okay, we've got multiple spellcasters. Actually, you know what? Right. Better tactic. Use the right tactic here. We do now know there are spellcasters here. So, step one silence right about there. Might not work immediately, but we'll give it a try. Um, this guy is the one who was poisoning, um, and doing a lot of damage to Imelon. You are in a perfect position to use the Ray of Frost right there. Uh, let's get rid of... That guy first. Did we kill him then? What happened to the silence? It's oh, it's. Great. 
should have paid more attention to who that guy was in the back there. Was that the... I think it's someone who comes out of here. I don't think it's a doppelganger who's casting all of those really bad spells. Um, so, you... Silence. You maybe... Oh, and... You're not in a good position to heal, are you? Really? I feel so cold. Uh. Oh, great. What was that? Starting to think that we should have gone and leveled up a little bit before we come in here. This is quite a fight. Problem is, you're in a really bad position. How is our party laid out if we go through like that? Even worse. See, all my big guys are at the back. Let me go through that one. I feel like that's slightly better. Not hugely, because Imowin is still sort of right there. But let's give this a try. You are definitely one of the spellcasters. So we are going to take you down very quickly. And let's put do that maybe in and you you are in a terrible position there Imelin so let's get not in, not in here. so let's get you over there so that you can then do so that okay, that was pointless okay, we have another spell cast another two spell casters there but Hopefully. Damn it. They all saved versus the silence spell. please stop waving those stupid swords around Guys are hitting way harder than they were before. Uh, we do have another wand of frost there. You are 
Um, what is that? Confused. Okay. Get your bow out, please. Shoot at him. Okay, we are not, not having much luck. No, not that one. That one. And then that one. Everybody do that. Get you over there, please. And can I get you casting silence again? No, oh, damn it. That silence was in the wrong spot. Thanks, Warlock. Nice meeting you too. I think that, uh, yeah, we're not going to be able to do this. This is, at our current level, this is beyond us. Uh, there's too many, too many spellcasters, and we can't take them out quickly enough or isolate them enough. The uh, They're too resistant to our silence so that's not working i mean if we're lucky and we can get that silence off and stop them that would work but what i'm thinking we might have to do is go and do a bit of exploration on the map and get some levels because yeah we like i'm fifth level he's fifth level here yeah. We're all, well, except for Imo, and we're all fifth level. But we really just don't have. I mean, maybe I could look at. Maybe I could look at, at looking at some of the spells that I've got and coming up with a slightly better thing. Hold person is a good spell, but. Because it only does one person, silence is a better thing to, to do to begin with. Um, miscast magic. 
it only affects one target, so that's not as useful. So I'm I'm really really starting to think that we might need some higher spell levels. And I need to reorganize the party that the positions of people in the party so that when we come up those stairs, we've got our heavy armored guys in the front, the guys with the bitter hit points and stuff, so that they're the ones that are taking the initial brunt of most of the spells. Um, I guess like I didn't even try using any of the fourth level spells. Third level spells, sorry. Uh, I probably should have done that as well. Let's... No, let's come here. So the, the other thing is, is that I'm pretty sure that when I did this ability before, it didn't actually affect everybody. And then let's get chant going. Right. Let's see. Is there another party layout that might work better? I don't think there is. I think what I've got to do is I can stick with that layout, but if I swap a wise choice to appoint the wiser. Everybody like that, and then we go up the stairs. That might be slightly better. Right. Um, so many spellcasters causing trouble here. It really is a question of who do who to attack first. I'm still going to try the silence, but I'm going to drop it, like, right there. Now, your spells. We've got Flame Arrow, the, the Meteors. So that actually... Okay, one guy's dead already. Why are you running around over there? So she should now have these meteors that she can throw. Um, which is all good. Beautiful. Yes, we silenced a couple of the guys. All right. Um, how about you spread those out a little bit? Can I get a hold person on, say, him? One of the mages seemed to have disappeared, but hopefully he also got silenced at the same time. Surely, you're better off healing him than other than person at the moment, I feel. Where are you going, Dana here? That is a silly thing for you to be doing. Getting yourself out in the middle of nowhere like that, because this archer is now attacking you. Um, but, I guess that's a perfect opportunity for you to use that. Actually, no. Let's get you attacking him. Your... Okay, maybe you don't need to heal this round, so... Can you do hold person on them? Yep. Yep. And...
Heal Darn ahead, please. confused again did we yeah that's not good particularly because she still got those spells there uh, this guy really needs to to die how about you do whole person on this one though? I'm confused you're confused you're confused okay. Thankfully, in their confusion, a lot of these guys are still helping. We've only got these two left. Yeah, the problem is, is... Some of our guys are attacking each other in the confusion as well. He's already held, I think. Just did that. Okay, if we can just survive the rest of these guys being confused. Okay, we lost Imowen. I feel this is my rightful place. That is all. So I think... Yeah, panic. I'll wait for the panic to wear off. And then we will... Loot all of this. Uh, the most important things to pick up. Imelon's gear, which is don't know actually. Okay, so we want potions. We want that inventory's full.
That's the last I've heard. Yeah, actually, I don't think that is. This stuff is the definitely last I've heard. Yeah. It's full. Fine. Uh, but we also want to keep that. That'll sell reasonably well. Should Tony has become a thorn on my side. Do not fail. So, so yeah, they're trying to kill us. What else is new? They're always trying to kill us. Grab a couple of those. They're sort of worth the money, but the rest aren't. I think I'm going to leave it here. Um, it's time for me to go and get some lunch, and then in an hour or so, I'll be back, and we will continue on with this main quest line. Um, we will save there on the Iron Throne. Overwrite done. So thank you everyone for joining me. Sorry, Dragon. I um, thank you for popping in and saying hello. I'll be back in a little while. I hope you're enjoying this. I'm having a lot of fun. Uh, this is about as far as I've ever gotten in this. So yeah, I'll see you all next time. Bye now. <laughs>